Lobos are doing really well in Las Vegas right now. They beat Air Force 82 to 56 in the Mountain West mm -hmm. Conference tournament yesterday. And watching it all is a couple that have been a longtime supporter of Lobo basketball. Lee Faria has his story. Bob, what brought you to, to New Mexico? To, to the land of enchantment. Uh, Lee, Bob King recruited me out of Illinois in 1971 off the cornfields. And I flew out to Albuquerque, never seen a mountain before. He brings me, shows me the pit. And what about you, Linda? When I'm a native, went to Sandia High School, always played basketball. Went to UNM, played a couple of years, and then Linda Estes came and said, well, we've got an influx of money, something called Title IX, and we're giving scholarships to women players. Would you like one? So you two met in college? Um, basically. I'll tell yeah, that yeah. one. You want to tell that? I, you, you uh, tell that one. I, I needed a date to a sorority dance, <laughs> so I asked him to go on this date, and uh, come to find out later, he went home and called his mother back in Illinois and said, man, this girl invited me on a date. I think she's hustling me. What's your fondest recollection and just being a fan? Well, I, I tell you what, number one, playing for the Lobos was a fabulous opportunity. We won a WAC championship, played in the Sweet 16, two games from the Final Four. I played in the NIT in Madison Square Garden. What's your first recollection of going to the pit with, with your dad? The pit was built and my parents got tickets. I mean, I'd always fantasize about being able to play in the pit. Coach after coach after coach, but you guys still keep coming to the games. Global basketball has affected my lifestyle, my family, in such a positive manner that it's, it's an unbelievable journey I, I got into. I've been blessed. Linda's been blessed. Lee Faria reporting in Las Vegas for us right now. So next up, New Mexico will face Boise State. The Broncos swept the Lobos this year in conference play.